Hi guys, welcome to Mathematician with yours truly, Miss Mac. In today's episode, we will be exploring the topic place value. Our learning objectives are as follows. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe what the place value system is. State the place value, face value, and true value of given numbers. Read large numbers up to a billion and represent given numbers using the base 10 blocks. Let's get in. The number system that we use in math is called the decimal system because it uses only 10 digits. These include 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. A place value system is a system based on powers of 10, where each place represents 10 times the place to its right. This system helps you to determine the value of a digit based on its position in a number. Let's start with face value. Face value is the value of the digit itself. For example, eight. 8 is the value of 8, and so it is the face value. 5 is the face value of 5. 2 is the face value of 2. 6 is the face value of 6. 3 is the face value of 3. 4 is the face value of 4. 9 is the face value of 9. 1 is the face value of 1. 0 is the face value of 0. And 7 is the face value of 7. Now let's look at place value. We use a place value chart to help us compare the value of digits in different numbers. Let's read the number on the screen. 92. 92 is made up of two digits, 9 and 2. 2 sits in the 1s or units column. 9 sits in the 10s column. If we should multiply the face value by the place value, that would give us the true value, exactly what the digit is worth in the number. So let's look at 9. 9 multiplied by 10s would give us 90. 2 multiplied by 1s or units would give us 2. Let's try another example. Read the number on the screen. 174. Never say and. You'll figure why in our decimals video. 174 is made up of three digits. 1, 7, and 4. Let us see exactly what each digit is worth. 1 multiplied by 100 because it sits in the hundreds place gives us 100. 7 multiplied by tens gives us 70. And 4 multiplied by 1 gives us 4. Here's another example. Be sure to pause the video and read the number on the screen. Did you say 3,215? Good job. Three sits in the thousands column, two sits in the hundreds, one sits in the tens, and five sits in the unit. Now let's look at the value of some of these digits. What's the value of the three? 3,000? 3, awesome. Well, what's the value of the one? Tens? Good job. Well, what about this one? Fifty two thousand three hundred eleven. What's the value of the five? Did you say fifty thousand? Good job.
1,820,437. What's the value of the one? Did you guess a million? Good job! Well, what about the eight? Did you guess 800,000? Very good. And the zero? That's correct. It's just zero. There are no thousands. Twenty two million four hundred seventy thousand one hundred thirty eight. What's the value of the first two? Did you say twenty million? Awesome. Pause the video and read this number. Did you say six billion five hundred forty three million two hundred seventeen thousand eight hundred two? Well, good job. And what's the value of the six? Did you guess six billion? Good job. What about the five? Five hundred millions. Good job. And what about the zero? That's correct. No tens. Absolutely nothing. Now let's try representing numbers. One method of representing numbers is using the Dean's blocks or base 10 blocks. On the left, we have the units or ones, which is one block, the tens, which is made up of 10 units or 10 unit blocks. Then you have the hundreds, which is made up of 100 units or 100 unit blocks. Then the thousands, which is made up of 1000 unit blocks. Twenty-three. How would you represent 23 using these blocks? Did you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 unit blocks? Hmm, that took us a long time. Well, you could represent it using 23 unit blocks. However, it'll make it a lot easier if you cash 10 of those for one tens block and then cash another 10 for another tens block. And your three, which makes it 23. So for short, we use two tens and three units. Let's try another one. How would you represent 144 using the base 10 blocks? Pause the video and give it a shot. Did you say 100? Plus four tens? Plus four units? Very good. Now try this one. Five thousand two hundred thirty. Correct. 5,000 blocks. Two 
to 100 blocks and just 30 tens that's right no units we have no ones or no units pause the video no you try read the numbers then state the place value face value and true value of the underlined digit in the following did you get it correct good job that is all for today guys catch you in our next episode until then see ya